We unpack. We unpack. We unpack. Coming to your live box and ego unpack. Yeah. We unpack. We unpack. We unpack. Hey, stop that cat. Man, that. ESPN is reporting the unthinkable. That Errol Spence, Terrence Crawford, has a, quote, remote chance of happening next. I call cap. I call BS on that one. I'm going to explain why in this video. What up, Fight World? It's your boy. You going back with some more back. Listen, ESPN back with some more cap. ESPN is now reporting that there's a remote chance that Errol Spence Jr., and Terrence Crawford could fight each other next. I don't believe it. It's it, they're saying according to ESPN, they have sources that are saying that there's negotiations faintly going on in the background. Now, boxing is getting real wild, real crazy. It real it's like just real crazy right now. I feel like people are making up stories or if they're not making it up then some people are just reporting everything that they hear. And here's the problem with sources. A source is basically a rumor, right? So until it's like written in stone, until, especially in boxing, a sport like boxing, because boxing doesn't have a governing body like the NBA or the NFL where they can make, you know, get a commission involved and make, a, a unilateral decision boxing is like the wild wild west you got top rank they do top rank things you got pbc they do pbc things you got the zone etc right so it's like really the wild wild west every man for himself so it, it's kind of hard to always believe in some of the sources and rumors in a sport like boxing because sometimes you have rumors that float around and you can have somebody that has nothing to do with the actual situation that give you the rumor like for example you can i'm just making an example you can have somebody from golden boy who may be working with pbc to try to make javante davis versus ryan garcia fight right so that golden boy personality could give a reporter information suggesting that they have information on another pbc fight like errol spence and terrence crawford right and then Crawford was in the Golden Boy headquarters, right? So if a reporter hears that, they might be inclined to believe it. Like, okay, maybe they talked to Crawford. You know, they're trying to work on Garcia and Tank Davis fight. So maybe they know something. So when they put that in print, then it looks like it could be true. But all in all, that Golden Boy person who tipped you off may have really nothing to do with because outside of Ryan Garcia, their fighter, and Tank Davis, they don't really know everything that's going on with PBC. They could have passed someone in the hallway and somebody else who didn't know could have spread that information. So it's a dirty game. You got to be careful about who you trust and who you F with and who you don't F with in this boxing game. Me, I like it old school. I prefer it old school. You know, instead of like these tipsters and things like that, I'd rather hear from the fighter. It was a very pleasant surprise when Manny Pacquiao, um, I want to, I'm going to fight uh, Errol Spence. I, I believe I, I have what it takes to to uh, beat him. And I believe, right? I woke up one day and then Pacquiao was like, I'm fighting Errol Spence. They had a flyer for it. Cool. Recently, more recently, you had Caleb Plant and he said, oh, Benavidez, Caleb Plant. I'm fighting Benavidez next. Everybody in boxing was like, wow, that's a mega fight. That's a super fight. We've been wanting it for some time now. Dope. And it was just refreshing to see Caleb Plant was the first person to actually report it. So now we're in the current day where we got people on YouTube and I'm a YouTuber too, but everyone moves differently. But you got people, YouTube, people on the gram, people on TikTok, people, Facebook groups, you know, wherever reporters. And they're so like thirsty to break the story that they just break any story. They don't care if it's true. Like I heard all types of stuff. Errol Spence and Thurman will be announced at the Super Bowl or Ryan Garcia and Tank is being announced at the Super Bowl. Just all types of stuff. Some people said Keith Thurman and Errol Spence was going to be announced last year 
in a week. Didn't get announced last year. You know what I mean? It still hasn't been announced. So it's just so much going on. Now, the reason I don't believe in the Errol Spence and the Terrence Crawford is because Crawford, he, in my opinion, he kind of snaked PBC and he went a completely different direction, unbeknownst to them. Steven Espinoza has since done interviews where he said like some things got to change with the negotiation. And I'm not confident that Terrence Crawford gets it in terms of his b-side positioning b-side but to the point where they would have been able to navigate to the point where a fight gets done next you know what i mean not like later this year but it gets done next plus errol spence i highly doubt highly highly doubt that the moment crawford decided and elected to fight david um avocado or whatever i highly doubt that pbc just decided to wait and say because he did it a couple like a week or a month or whatever before December right so I highly doubt that PBC didn't want to get the ball rolling and get something for Errol Spence who fought in April or May of last year right so the moment Crawford did that the in the game of chicken Crawford swerved first you could say oh he but but he needed a fight I don't care what you're talking about in the game of chicken if you have two trucks smashing towards each other saying they about that life one person has to to swerve out and pull out first or they're going to crash head on. Errol Spence was willing to crash head on and line it up. I right, stopped that cat with Terrence Crawford. Crawford swerved first and went a different direction. That's what happened. That's what played out. You can say, oh, but he, he was getting 10 million. You, know, you, would, you wouldn't pass it up. First of all, you don't know what the f I would do, right? So that's not, you can't put words in my mouth. Second of all, regardless of anything you say, that's what happened. Crawford went a different direction. That's in print. That history shows that already. So from that moment on, it was fair game. And I think they definitely worked on Errol Spence's next endeavor and his next move and his next fight. They're not going to sit around and wait around for Crawford to get it, especially if he was problematic to negotiate with. And they had these long, arduous negotiations the first time that, that lasted six, eight months and came up short with no clearer direction than what you started at. Do you see what I'm saying? Like, it'd be one thing if you made a lot of progress and then all the terms were set and you people had a good direction of what it takes to make the fight. But it sounds like the fight fell apart and they were no real, there was no real clarity more so than when they first started negotiation. Crawford wanted what he wanted, couldn't get exactly what he wanted, went a different direction. So. I don't believe it. You guys let me know what you think. Seeing is believing. Errol Spence, Keith Thurman. That's what that's that's the play I'm picking. And I, I highly doubt that PBC will make the Errol Spence fight next. Either way, I'll give you guys the update when it happens and watch Ego Stradamus be correct. And I'm out. Introducing Super Thanks. Right here on the official Boxing Ego YouTube. Super Thanks allows you, the viewers, to show a little bit of extra gratitude, which enables me as a full-time content creator to push out the content you need in the world of boxing. Underneath all the videos, you will see a heart with the dollar sign in it. You can enter any amount that you find suitable as a super thanks. A brand new interactive and colorful way to get your comments highlighted and noticed by not only myself, but other people on the YouTube platform. Super thanks, a unique and cool way to show and applaud us full-time content creators. Hopefully you guys enjoy the content. Super thanks. The future is now. The Hibernation Fives by Kenichi Bear. Hybrid gaming and lifestyle headphones. Out of the box, you can connect to any console or PC. Bluetooth ready with a low latency USB adapter, color RGB and extreme bass mode. The Hibernation Fives adjust to you. Whether you need a gaming, travel gym or lifestyle headphones the hibernations got you covered the new hibernation fives link in the description customize the way you hear the world welcome to the nation are you tired of your youtube videos not getting any views well consider tubebuddy 
I've used TubeBuddy for years to scale up my YouTube channel. Now we're sitting over 200,000 subscribers. TubeBuddy is a browser extension that offers a ton of built-in productivity and time-saving services to take your channel to the next level. Use my link in the description to get started with TubeBuddy and level up your channel faster. We work it.